Hi, it's Deb from Tiny Deer Vintage, and I am here today with um, a continue of my clearance uh, vintage jewelry sale. And um, if you see something that you'd like to purchase, you just need to email me at tinydeervintage at gmail.com and send me your um, email address and the country you live in if you have not purchased from me before. And I will need a brief description, a screenshot, or a timestamp for the item that you're interested in purchasing. I accept PayPal for payment, um, so I'll need your PayPal email address if I didn't mention that. And um, shipping starts at $6 within the US and priority is available upon request. Okay, so I think that's everything. You can always email me with any questions that you have. Again, it's tinydearvintage at gmail.com. And let's just get started. Let's dive in. I'm going to start with a 32 inch Joan Rivers glass necklace. Okay, hold on. I'm going to put the camera down a little. So we're going to be moving here a little bit. Okay. There we go. Here, let me get this light closer. Um, I never looked it never looks like I have enough light when I'm filming, but usually when I play the video back, it seems fine. So this is, um, like I said, Joan Rivers, 32 inches. There's her tag, gold tone, lobster claw there at the end. And then you have these various green glass faceted stones, really pretty. I don't know if these were meant to have that kind of modeled appearance or if maybe some of the coating has worn off, but they all seem uniformly um, marked in that way. So my best guess is that maybe they were always like that. And anyway, let's, I'm going to do this one for, um, I'll do... I'll do 14 on it. Let me write that down. Joan Rivers. And it's $14. It's glass. Really pretty. Okay. Next up, I have... Let's do this little brooch. Um, I have a few brooches to do today. Um, this is a little zebra. He has a little green, emerald green crystal eye in there. Gold tone. He's cute. He's in good condition. He's got a little bit of something going on up there. Could probably just clean that with a little bit of alcohol on a Q-tip. I believe that's the Liz Claiborne symbol. I'm not positive. But um, I'll do him for six dollars. Six dollars for the zebra. Okay, let's see. Next up, I have this cute necklace. Um, I don't know what this is. I believe these are stone beads, some kind of shell, I believe, and they have this this interesting kind of confetti, like cotton candy confetti coating, cotton candy confetti coating on it. Um, it has a magnetic clasp and then you have these beads. They're very cold. They have weight to them. Really don't know a lot about this necklace other than I thought it was interesting and worth showing. It's a cool piece. And I will do this for, I will do $6 on that one as well. $6 on the, what do I call that? The confetti, I'll call it the Four C's necklace. <laughs> $6. Oh, let me give you a length on that. It's an interesting necklace and I, I held on to it because was going to keep it but I haven't worn it and I haven't done anything with it and the drop on that is 10 inches 
Okay, and it's six dollars. Okay, up next I have a pair of earrings. These are designer clip earrings. Uh, Les Bernard is the designer on these. If I can get them open. Um, they are gold tone clip backs in this rope design. Uh, chain, I should say, not rope, but like a chain. And let me show you the signature right there, Les Bernard. My camera's struggle bussing today. I feel your camera. Okay, so that clip works really good. Let me check this one. Yep, Les Bernard uh, gold tone clip back earrings. I will do these for. I'll do eight dollars. Eight dollars on the Les Bernard clip earrings. And I'll give you a quick measurement on these. I believe they're about an inch. Let's see. Yeah, maybe a little bit more than an inch on these. Yep, just over. Les Bernard, really good condition. $8 for the Les Bernard. Okay. Uh, next I have another glass necklace. I have a couple of glass necklaces today, I believe. Yep. So this one has all kinds of different glass on it. Here's the closure. And then you have foil glass. This kind of swirly glass. Millefiori style glass. Lamp work glass. I love the fall colors of this. It's really pretty. And this beautiful bead that is in the center in the front is beautiful, but you see right there, it's got some damage to it. I'm trying to find if it's just that petal. I feel something here too, so maybe there was a center. Yeah, that's missing on that flower. So, I mean, it could be restrung and just, I would take that bead off. Um, it's really pretty. I'll do $10 on it and I'll keep it if no one buys it and I will restring it. That's my decision. Sometimes it's hard to let these pieces go. Okay, glass, multi, and it's $10. Oh, let me give you a length on this. It's a longer one. And the drop is 15 inches. Really pretty. I'm already kind of regretting that. Okay, so. Just ignore me. I get sentimental about things I should not get sentimental about. Let's do another glass necklace, I think. Okay. This one is really cool. So, these are pink glass beads. I'm looking to see if there's a clasp. No, there isn't. So, it's a continuous strand. And they have alternating... See that? It... I believe they probably all had this coating, or maybe some did and some didn't. And you can see the coating on some of these has worn. But they are glass beads and I was going to remove that last bit of coating on these with a polishing pad, but I just never, I never did it. it you know, my projects are really piling up. But they're a beautiful, soft pink, and you can see what they look like without the coating on. They're beautiful glass beads, and long, and they're strong, um, um, 
rosary style on it looks like some type of brass metal and it's very long long enough where you could just take out the beads with you know that coating on them and still have a necklace for yourself and they're easy to open and close the little connections it's a 20 inch drop and um, I will do I'll do ten dollars on this pink glass because it probably is like a project piece a lot of beautiful glass there ten dollars and it's wearable as it is okay let's see do I have any rings well here's an interesting bracelet <clears throat> This bracelet, I have one like it. I don't think I'll be able to get it at my fingertips. This is glass. I have one in blue. Well, I have a couple of them in blue. There's some foiling, crackle, red glass. Um, they're like marbles. I would say maybe a 15 millimeter on these, not really sure. But the color is spectacular in these beads and it's on a gold tone bracelet that has lost has metal loss so you can see the base metal uh, color is coming through in areas come on now cooperate with me <clears throat> it has the clasp it's a little fold over and I'll give you a measurement on this and I will do this little beauty for I'll do $12 on it actually I'll do $10 on this one as well it's it's got metal loss and, and color loss when I is what I mean and this measures it's about this is saying six and three quarters but let me try it on and see if it fits me because I feel like I wore this let us see oh was that twisted okay that might be why sorry for the delay it is on the smaller side so I'm thinking you would not want to have larger than a six and three-quarter wrist but let me see if I can close it yeah okay so my wrist is almost six and three quarters and this is how it fits me I have a little bit of room not a lot you can see that there so I'll do ten dollars on this beauty the colors are really spectacular on this one I'm gonna write that down ten dollars really pretty okay let's see here is I've shown this jade necklace before it is actually looking at it I think it's probably a venturine. I may have said that before, I don't remember. Um, you can see, yeah, I believe that's a venturine and yellow jade. And for the jade to be this yellow, it may have some dye in it. I, this, I don't know how I would be able to tell that. Um, I don't know a lot about jade, so I don't know if it comes in that color yellow naturally, but it is a stone necklace, yellow and green, and it has this adorable, oh, excuse me, I gotta take care of my dog. One second, be right back, and then it'll be no time for you, I'm just gonna pause. Okay, so, it has the carved little pig, really sweet. And I will give you a length on this, and I'm going to offer this for, we'll do 30 on it today. 
30 for the jade carved pig and a venturine necklace the drop to the uh the carved pig is 14 and a half inches let me just write this down jade aventurine and i will offer it for 30 dollars and the pig measures an inch and a half and then you have the drop below that that measures <clears throat> about three and a half inches it's beautiful actually I'm gonna offer it for 25 I really need to move these things out and I apologize for changing the price like that and hope I'm not confusing things but $25 it's beautiful okay let's see what should I do next I have a hinged bracelet just costume it does have all of its stones I don't see any missing they are a mix of colors there's some black and silver or gray and it opens like this with these two hinges there's a little bit of silver loss on this. Let me look at it with my loop. Use this one. Well, I think it needs cleaning. I'm going to pass on this one. I'm going to pass. Sorry about that. I didn't realize it has this spot that would need cleaning. It might have a little bit of vertigree there and it may lose some of the metal with it so I don't want to to include it pearl I'm right here be quiet just sit quiet and let mom finish okay okay um, next up I have a little mini purse pendant it's on this textured gold tone chain the chain is long and from there is a little watch fob connection and then you have this little gold tone mesh bag this is in fabulous condition see the sides there it has one little spot where it's faded a little bit right there on the back and then it has the little kiss lock right here and I got it caught on the chain opens that's the inside and I'm gonna offer this for I'll do 15 on it today the little purse measures about an inch and a half and uh, the chain is really long sorry if I already measured it I don't think I did okay 16 inch drop on that and then you also have you know several inches here so you can adjust that if you need to and I will do that purse at $15 sweet okay a few more pieces here i have this really cool cuff bracelet this i believe is um 800 silver or some some kind of base metal silver i don't believe this is sterling it could be i haven't tested it but it has these really pretty um natural stones in it I don't know if they are an agate or a type of chalcedony. They sure look like chalcedony to me. Really pretty. And um, this fits my average sized wrist. Let me try it on here. I apologize if you can hear my dog crying. She just needs my attention constantly. <laughs> so this is how it fits my six and three quarter inch wrist. Um, kind of headed down to six and a half but um and it's adjustable and I will do this little beauty 
I'll do 18 on it. It's really pretty. 18. Um, we'll call it. Really nice glowy stones. It's a pretty little piece. Okay, let's see, let's see. What else do I have here? I have a crown trafari leaf. What else do I have here? I have this beautiful little gem. Um, here, let's do these three pins. And then I think I will do... Oh, I have this watch if anyone collects watches. This is a really cool piece. And I will finish with this set that I have not priced yet, so I have to think about it because it's stunning. Okay, so let's do the Crown Trafari. Beautiful. Is that a maple leaf? No. Maple, what's the other one? Oh my gosh, showing my ignorance. Um, it's not a maple leaf. Oak leaf? No, it's not an oak leaf. It's a leaf. There's Trafari with the crown over it. Uh, I still have COVID brain, guys. Uh, it's a real thing. Shh, I'm almost done. Shh. Um, it's a pretty one. I'll do... I'll, I'll do $10 on the Crown Trafari leaf. It measures just under three inches in really good condition, a nice, good weight to it, good quality Crown Trafari. $10. It's pretty. Okay, next I have a Sterling Silver um, Goddess, Siam Goddess. She's beautiful. There's great detail on this because it's a larger size, so you can get that beautiful detail in there. And this is Sterling Silver. I forget the name of the black background with this. I, I forget. I'm sorry. Um, here is the pin. It's a slight curve to it there. But in beautiful condition, you can see right there, it says Siam Sterling. This is an older piece. And I will do this for, I'll do it for 18. Sterling silver, two and three quarter inches. And this is the Siam. I'll do 16 on it. She's really pretty. Okay, next I have this pretty little flower pin. Look at the purples in there. This is a more modern piece. Little enameling on the leaves here. It's pretty. It's a pretty, pretty pin. Brooch. And I'll do this one for, I'll do $8 on it. It has all of its beautiful stones in two different colors of purple. I'm just looking to make sure they are all there. It has a little center Aurora Borealis uh, stones. And it measures about two and a half inches tall by two and a half inches wide. It's a really pretty pin. And I will do it for, did I say $8? I'll do it for $8. It's a beauty. Okay, let's do this watch. This is a guest watch in these really adorable enamel. Heavy, they're heavy, it's just beautiful. Uh, links, there's guests. And it is missing one tiny crystal there that um, I can replace. I think I forgot about that. But I do have some Swarovski crystals. Uh, sorry, I gotta 
I want to look at it with the loop to make sure it's missing or to make sure it isn't one or the other. Okay, I don't see. I think that's a cloudy one. It's a little cloudy. I will try to clean that and if it still looks questionable right there, I will replace it. It looks like it may have a little bit of glue on top of it, and I'll clean that off. So, I have the button pushed in to not waste the battery. I did replace the battery. Or pulled out. What, what do you do with it? You don't want it to work? Or did I already push it in? Anyway, it works. And here are the rest. Oh, look at this. It's so cute. I love this watch. I don't wear watches, but I do love the style of this. And as you can see, it's very adjustable. <laughs> it's pretty. And I've looked these up before, and I know they, they can go for a lot of money. But, um, meaning around 100 is where I saw them before. Um, I'll do this for... I will do... I'll do $20 on it. $20 on the Guess watch. $20. Okay. And uh, did I show what that looks like on the wrist? Just so you can get an idea of scale with it. If that helps. I'm sorry if I'm just kind of rushing through and not showing them well enough. Um, and last but not least, I have this Whiting and Davis set. Look how gorgeous. They're stunning. That uh, glass is just so ethereal and iridescent. I don't know if it's done with the backing. I'm not really sure how they accomplish the iridescence in the glass, but she is beautiful. I'll do the necklace first. It has this little tassel. Here is the back. It's in a really good condition. It's like a mirror finish back here. And then here is the chain. It's a Rolo style textured chain. It has two stations. Um, if you want to wear it short or long, you could always remove that if you didn't have any interest in that. Or I can remove it for you if you'd like. You just need to tell me. <clears throat> Here is the name tag, Whiting Davis, and the closure. And I'll show you what this measures. Shh, I'm almost done. I'm almost done, Pearl. That's my little Chihuahua. She's my little mascot. Um, she looks like a little deer, a tiny deer. So she was my inspiration. 10 inch drop on the chain and then the pendant from the top of the bale to the bottom of the little mesh tassel is three and a half inches. And it's really, it's magical. I planned on keeping this set because I, I really do love it. And it comes with the coordinating matching ring that is just as beautiful and has good weight to it. has a little bit of metal loss there in the back and it is adjustable right here. That goes in and out, and right now it is set to, I believe it's set around an eight. Right now it's set at eight. Let's see what that looks like. I think, I think you'd top out at eight. I think if you wanna go bigger, it's probably gonna start coming out from the ring. What's it at now? I don't think I'd wear it larger than eight and a quarter. Let me see what it's like at eight and a half. Um, it works at eight and a half. I wouldn't go any bigger than that. And then of course it can go, you can shrink it down. 
and I'm I'm sorry if I'm hesitant. I I'm trying to think of where I want to price these two pieces together at. I'll do I'll do 45 for the set. And that will be the end for me today. Um, I may come back on and do, let me see, another 10 or so pieces. Um, what day is it today? Actually, th that's just going to close out for the week. So I, I don't believe I'm going to have another sale video up this week. And I'm going to start again on Monday with the process again. So I'm shooting for two videos a week to help clear out uh, my overstock and, uh, you know, hone down my collection to the pieces that I want to keep and that I'm capable of organizing properly. And yeah, so thanks for watching. I really appreciate you. And don't hesitate to email me at tinydearvintage at gmail.com if you have any questions. And we'll go from there. So take care. Have a great rest of your week. And I look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.